Dan is de treffer van Joost van Barneveld in de 53e minuut. I first started soccer when I was five years old. I remember that my first training was a disaster. It was raining heavily and I came back crying and I told my parents that I never wanted to go back. Several months later I tried it again and it turned out I had talent. Van Barneveld, prachtig! At the height of my career I was playing for the Dutch national youth team and also in the highest division of the Netherlands. In this period of my life, I completely focused on soccer. I didn't attend many classes in school, and sometimes my dad even did my homework. Van Barneveld, Joost van Barneveld, schiet binnen, 1-2. My interest in graffiti developed in my early teens. When traveling to the training ground, my eyes were drawn to tropes and tags. I'd always been interested in letters. I drew a lot without a particular purpose until I discovered graffiti. At some point I discovered a hidden tunnel close to the train line. In 97 I did my first piece here, while my friends were patrolling for me. As a youngster escaping the strict rules dictated by my soccer profession, I slowly developed a second life. A life I lived outside the public eye. By 2003 I had committed many underground years to the graffiti scene and I took special interest in drawing, as that was my escape. Especially during my darker moments, which were mainly related to knee injuries and bad results. Van Barneveld, met heel veel moeite, strompelend naar de kant. When I was forced to give up my career as a soccer player, I decided to focus solely on drawings and murals. My work has diversified into illustrative drawings, prints, canvases and murals. While my roots are in graffiti, I don't like to limit myself to only one discipline. I think it's more interesting to take elements from different movements and incorporate them into my own work. The traditional letter form has always been the basis of my work. I believe that the letter form betrays the writer's emotional state of mind, and so each letter can be unique. What inspires me are the daily things in life, like when I walk through a forest or a city, for example. I look up to clouds, skyscrapers, colors, or a different kind of curves. I mean, actually anything that's happening in or around the city. Traveling has broadened my mind, and the experiences on my travels are a great source of inspiration.
Usually, I don't take on commissions when I'm asked to do something that doesn't represent me as an artist. It feels like people say, I like what you do, but I want you to do it differently. Personally, I'm a quiet guy with high expectations and enormous hunger to do what I do best. This goes for when I was a soccer player and it still goes for my current life. <laughs> 